Bill Nye the Science Guy. If you are a science junkie, if you love space, you know that tune, and you know who we have with us now. Bill Nye, the science guy, he has been getting us pumped about the final frontier and all its mysteries for decades, opening up our minds to the deep space that stretches out infinitely above and around us, reminding us daily of how small we truly are. But today, science has made the distance between all of us and the cosmos just a little bit shorter, with perhaps one of the greatest scientific achievements in our lifetime. The James Webb Telescope giving us this first full color image, the deepest and highest resolution photograph ever taken of the universe. That's what NASA tells us. I think Bill's going to tell us the same thing. As I mentioned, he's one of the greatest scientific minds on Earth. He's pretty pumped about this too. CEO of the Planetary Society, Bill Nye. Bill, so good to see you. <laughs> it's so good to be seen. No, it's great to see you. So everybody... Keep an eye on the James, Lunds, James Webb Space Telescope. Been, people have been working on this for over 25 years, trying to get this mission flying. And there was uh, a lot of, uh, it was expensive, getting on $10 billion. And the reason it got so expensive was because, the, as the saying goes, they needed a lot of miracles. In other <laughs> words, uh, the people who designed this gizmo solve problems that have never been solved before. And this thing is way out in space at uh, Lagrange Point 2. There's a place out beyond Earth and the Earth-Moon system where the gravity of the Earth, Moon, and Sun and the centripetal acceleration of everybody going around the Sun is in balance. And then, you know, you can't put a marble on top of a bowl that's upside down, right? It would fall off. So out there, we have it in a halo orbit while it's going around the sun, while it's going around the Earth-Moon system. Whoa! And then Let looking fantastically deep into space, into the blackness, the cold, cold blackness of space, where to your and my eye, it would look like there's nothing there. But they're Let actually... Let's actually look at it. Let's look at let's look at the image, Bill. Let's look at let's look at the the galaxy cluster as it appeared 4.6 billion years ago. Um, it's just overflowing with, with detail. As we look at this image, tell us exactly what we're looking at. Well, we're looking at an amazing group of stars and galaxies. Is that enough? But you're looking at. Keep in mind. Um, an image that's been uh, adjusted. This gives this space telescope is uh, the mirrors are coated with gold, which turns out to be uh, the ideal reflective surface for infrared light, light just beyond what our eyes can see, the kind of infrared that would give you a sunburn if you're uh, out in the sun. And so um, this, this light carries information from way, way in the past, because even though it may have started out as visible light, as it as the universe expands, the waves of light stretch. Like the whole thing is a bit mind-boggling, everybody. And the other thing that's really important to keep in mind, there is no so-called business case for this. You're, nobody's making money doing this exploration. Instead, we're just learning more about the cosmos and our place within it. And you know, we all throw around the expression, we throw around black hole, we throw around supernova, we'll say stardust. These expressions wouldn't be in our vocabulary without space exploration. So according to NASA, the image has actually been traveling for more than 13 billion years. It's so hard to wrap my head around that. Does that mean that much of the things that we are seeing may not even exist anymore? Are we actually well, looking at the past? So Kira, this is, this is where it gets, you know, into science fiction, okay? okay. So does you're scaring it mean me now. Something? Don't whisper you're scaring me. <laughs> that we're looking at something that was 13.8 billion years ago, so it's not there anymore? Or does it mean that whatever happened on that star system or those galaxies out there isn't happening here until now? 
Like, in other words, is it even a meaningful question? This is this is just fantastic things to think about. But um, everybody, near as we can tell, the universe started from an almost unimaginably small volume and expanded into what we have, what we see today. And uh, uh, Edwin Hubble was the guy who really wrote about it in a in an articulate fashion that he realized that the universe is expanding. And this led to our understanding of, of, our, of the Big Bang and how stars evolve and change and what our, what our star is doing right now relative to the life cycles of other stars. And all this stuff uh, right now doesn't have a practical application. But I think all the time, my grand, all four of my grandparents were born in the 19th century. And when they were born, no one knew that there was relativity, let alone what you could do with it. And so the discoveries that are going to be made in the coming decades with JWST, as we like to call it, is, uh, may lead to our understanding of, black mat of dark matter and uh, dark energy, black holes, and uh, the evolution of stars, which may lead to things we really can't imagine right now. And so this is, this is what brings out the best in us. This is where people all over the world have worked together to create this instrument that is giving us a look at the universe in a, the way that, that my grandparents didn't imagine, let alone see. No, it's amazing. And you, you look at that star in, in that galaxy cluster, and I, I think of the Star of Bethlehem and what that led us to. If you want to put a spiritual spin and what these stars will lead us to, you just never know, right, Bill? So good to see you. Well, Love you having know. you. Yeah, that's right. But we still, um, you know, why are you doing this? What are you going to find? We don't know. That's why we're doing this. Back <laughs> Amen to, you. to that. Thank you. <laughs> Great to see you, Bill. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.